<laughs> Hello. Hi. We are back. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Um, a lot of people were asking for like kind of an introduction type thing, uh, maybe a boat tour as well. Um, so we'll we'll cut to some clips of the boat and ourselves, um, and we'll tell you a bit more at the same time. My name is Sophie, and this is Yang. Uh, Hi. I'm originally from England, and Yang's from Singapore. Singapore. We actually met um, when we were both at the Bimini Biological Field Station, aka Shark Lab. Um, which is based in Bimini in the Bahamas. Uh, we were <laughs> where we were both taking part in uh, shark research. We are both big uh, shark lovers. If you've seen our previous video, you might have realized that. About a year and a half ago now, we moved on board Medusa. Um, she is a 1980 CSY 44 catch. So she's an old girl, but she's done well so far. Um, she's actually named after a shark that we met back when we were working at the Bimini Biological Field mm. Station in 2018. Um, she was actually our favourite great hammerhead shark. Uh, she's regularly seen in the winter here in Bimini. Um, we haven't seen her this year, sadly, but... Hope she's okay. Hopefully she's just picked somewhere else to spend the winter. When we moved aboard, I mean, I had some sailing experience. Mm -hmm. um, I used to race yachts and stuff like that for kind of, as kind of a job. Um, but Sophie had never sailed before. Yeah, it's a big learning curve for me. This yeah. is the first sailboat I think I've ever actually been on. Um, <laughs> but I've been on some catamarans on holiday once, but you know. Yeah, that kind of yeah. different. <laughs> this, is a, this is a little bit different. Yeah. Um, I bought Born in Grenada in 2019. Mm -hmm. It was, I think Sophie's still at the lab. Um, yeah, so we bought a boat down in Grenada in 2019. And uh, we've been up to Puerto Rico from Grenada, back down to Grenada, mm. and then all the way back up now to <laughs> basically Florida. Okay, so we are just going to show you a little bit of the inside of Medusa. Um, so this is the galley. Uh, as you can see, it's a little different from living inside a normal house. Everything's a little more compact and closer together. Um, one of the reasons we picked this boat is because she has really great storage, uh, which is important in such a small living space. Okay, this is the aft cabin. Sorry about all the clothes hanging up. But this is where we spend a lot of time. <laughs> <laughs> about half the time. <laughs> the um, night time. Yeah, we have a nice big double bed in here. Uh, my favourite thing, one of my favourite things about the boat is the port windows at the back, so you can just look out onto the water while you're in bed. Um, a lot of cupboards in here, as you can see, they're all around, which is cool because there's a lot of storage. There's also a aft head in here as well. Can get on sweet. Okay, I'm rolling. Yeah, it's called a porthole, right? Yeah, yeah, I okay. think it, I think it is. I just don't want to say it wrong because you know everyone's just gonna be like, it's not a porthole. So I'll just check it. Excuse me. That's not a pot, huh? <laughs> so back in the saloon, we have um, settees, both sides, nav desk, radio, SSB and stuff. And as Sof mentioned earlier, about half the boat is taken up with, with camera gear. Uh, we have, I mean, half our lives revolves around making sure everything's charged. Uh, so we have drones, um, well one drone, I wish we had more than one drone. Uh, we have a drone. That's the Olympus and that's the housing for the Z-Cam which Soph is shooting on right now. Um, yeah, rags, BC, a bunch of bags with camera gear in them. And that's about it for the saloon. The nav desk is a mess right now. Oh, we also do have this wonderful, <laughs> exquisite painting by the one and only Clemency White. Actually, it's a drawing. Is it a drawing? Okay. It's, yeah, it's a painting, watercolor. Oh. And it's beautiful. Thank I'm you, Clemency. Alright. Okay. Just, just keep it around. Yeah. You got me? Yeah. <laughs> you 
got me? Yeah. Alright, so... You stay pink. Yeah, because this is a focal length, right? Okay. Or the aperture. I'm at, I'm at f5, so it's not that bad. Okay. okay. Yeah, I got you. Um, moving forward, you have a... You're from quite far away. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get the whole room. Yeah. Moving forward, you have a um, Ford head, which is electric, thank god for that. Um, and a V-berth up in the front, it's a bit crowded. Uh, do you want to see if you can get in here so? Yep. Um, um, camera gear. Yeah, well. we keep all our camera gear in in boxes, pelican cases. Um, that way we can keep them like semi airtight and we fill them with like silica packs, like those dry packs. Um, just to keep our stuff uh, healthy for a little while longer. The salt air is really bad for any kind of electronics. Uh, anyone will tell you that. Um, so we found that this way works quite well in keeping our electronics mm -hmm. safe. Um, yeah, things can get a little damp in the boat. Uh, yeah. We don't have AC or anything, so... Yeah, that's kind of rough. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's the boat. Um, yeah. She's not the most modern looking boat, but she has character. Um, nice wood. Obviously, all our crap is everywhere, so she doesn't live for me. <laughs> yeah. Pretty spacious for a 44. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if one of the best things about this boat is the headroom. <laughs> yeah. I'm about, I'm, a, I'm just under 5'11", and with my arms fully stretched, I can just touch the ceiling. Which is great. It makes the boat seem a lot bigger than it actually is. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. She's pretty self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. uh, we have 910 watts of solar. We have a water maker, which is 12 volt, so it runs off solar power. Uh, fridge and freezer, which all run off solar power as well. Yeah, so... We can we could basically be off the grid, yeah. Until food runs out, um, and if you're somewhere like the Bahamas where you can spearfish, yeah. then it makes it a lot easier to to fill freezers and stuff like that. Yeah, you can go spearfishing. Pretty self sufficient, mm. which is cool. Yeah, you know, save the planet, all yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs>so yeah thanks guys for joining us on our first episode um we hope you like that intro and hopefully you know a little bit more about us now and the boat yeah hopefully we didn't bore you too much with all talking but we'll try and get back to all the pretty pictures next week yeah we know it's been um it's been quite long since since our last upload um but we've been super busy out filming and mm -hmm. stuff like that um so you have some really really good footage to, to look forward to uh Hopefully in less time yeah. <laughs> less time than before. <laughs> um, yeah, and we um, we also did get engaged. <laughs> yeah, so that, that took up a little bit of time. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's there's a there's a little video that I cut together short on a GoPro um, that I'll link somewhere either in the description or at the end of this video. Yeah. And yeah. See you That's next it. time. See you next time. Thanks for sticking with us. <laughs> Here's a few bonus clips um, to show you what some of the stuff we've been filming. Uh, hope you enjoy. Bye. Bye. <laughs>